Hello, YouTubers and all those who happen to watch. A couple pickups I've gotten here today. And uh, first things first, I got the Wii U microphone here. Now, I opened this up already just to see if it was all, you know, what it looked like. Because that's what you do sometimes if you're going to use the product in the future. And it's a pretty long cord. The cord's it's well built. It looks like it's well built. I'm not 100% certain the reviews of it. I got it really affordable, so I mean that's even if it isn't the most greatest microphone in the world, it works practical for what it is. So I'm happy about that for sure. So whenever I get a Wii U, I'll have a microphone to chat on, if that's even pointful or have any substance. Next thing I purchased here was Skyrim. No, I'm kidding, it's Skylanders. <laughs> Skyrim with the <laughs> what the hell's his name? <laughs> with the tree Rex. It was a life element. Oh boy. <laughs> it comes with a little poster in the back here, which I'm probably just gonna leave in there, and as well as the card which has the uh, barcode which you actually use I think to register the creature, so that way you have to it makes you buy the damn things. And uh, it has stats on the card and all that, blah, 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 blah. Crap, I pretty much am not too enthusiastic about, per se, about the whole... I'm not even going to bother really ripping open the card and putting it anywhere other than leaving it inside the box. I mean, it looks okay. I'm not really a card collecting kind of guy, modernly, of course. Back in the day when I was a kid, I was all about that, because I'm, I'm a hypocrite now, I suppose. So, I got uh, Tree Rex here. He looks kind of cool, even though he's the, he was a primarily the staple next to the, uh, what the hell is this guy, uh, Trump back, which is like a whale with a uh, anchor, which, uh, very cheesy, tacky names for these characters, but, you know, I didn't pay too much for this at all, so I wanted to get this game. I like Spyro, generally, and I like platformers just like Spyro and this is apparently what this is a lot like it has a lot of different options to play the game and most some people so far have I talked to are feeling disappointed with buying it and uh, you know it's it's all the power to them I mean I can see where they probably didn't like it so I mean and that I'm, my ex I'm ever gonna get for these figurines is about 10 figurines per game that they made which is the original Skylanders and the Giants so it's gonna be 10 max I'm ever gonna collect for this whether it be inexpensive or cheap, and I'm not going to be spending a lot of money for those figurines either. I'm going to work on getting the most affordable and the ones I actually like. So that way I have enough for content and to be able to play. He's kind of cute. I kind of like him. You know, he's he's the core character, which I'm probably is going to stick with for a while. And again, I got to understand the rules of this game. And I mean, it's for kids, absolutely. It's a fucking kids game, but you know, I. It's like all of us playing Mario Brothers and trying to justify it, you know, it's it's a timeless classic. I mean, this is not going to be a timeless classic anytime soon. It's probably going to be a fun game, but there you go. I mean, parents probably won't understand it. I'm probably going to ha understand half of it, but I'm probably going to like it just the same. Because I am I like the click figurines, and this to me is like a hybrid mixture of the two. So eventually when I get the original game, which this included with the game, uh, what's the Skylanders game is this. And, uh, what is it? I still need to get one of the portals. And that's all I need is a portal, and I can be able to play the game with this character and play it through, and then collect different figurines along the way. And the figurines are actually a little bit more small than I initially expected them to be, which I understand, because they're kind of... I thought I probably have big hands, I don't know, but... I don't know. But <laughs> I'm going to put this back in the box for now. I mean, it's... I'm not going to play it till I actually own the portal anyway, because you can't. That's the, sort of the ploy with the game, is that you need the portal, you need the figurine the, in order to play the game. And some people don't like that, they want to just pop, be able to pop in the game and play it, but I kind of like this whole key fragment to it. It just, it's charming to me, I would suppose. But it looks, I like the box art. I actually like the, the orange color, the black, and with the PlayStation 3 logo and all that. It was just, I like it. It just looks nice. So this is the primary thing I was actually going to target to get, and this is this is the vicious cycle of called Clarence. Never go near it when you're somewhat broke. So, <laughs> so, all right. so you're thinking, okay, and how the hell did you get that game then? Easy, I bought it. So 
Yeah, I've purchased this for the 3DS because I primarily wanted a fucking game that would give me hours and 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 three hours later, hours hours and hours of gameplay, and that of course is Animal Crossing New Leaf for the 3DS. I primarily wanted to grab this game because, quite frankly, I liked the the game the Wii version. Which is, uh, I think it was Newtown or something. Brain fart from hell. But, yeah, primarily wanted to get this. City Folk, that's what it was. I don't know why I couldn't remember that name. It was easy to remember. But, try not to sneeze. Hit the shoe! Oh, and my foot went to sleep. This video is going excellent. But, no, uh, yeah, wanted to get it. I've played most of my 3DS games already and wanted something with a lot of gameplay and I like these type of games so it works. Plus I can play online with some buddies and all that stuff. Even if they don't play with me I can play with myself and they can watch me play with myself for all I care. <laughs> but I'm excited I'm ripping it open as I'm talking to you because I'm dying to play this goddamn game you have no idea. Which has been that, next to Skylanders of course, but this has been that fragment in my life that I actually wanted to purchase and get. And I'm going to take this pin number and carefully put it right there. But, uh, let's see what they got here for this pamphlet. Check out these other great games. Ouija's Mansion, I'm probably going to get at some point. Swap Note, which is free, uh, Minis Move, Harmono Knight, which I probably will get that, but that looks pretty good. Uh, New Super Mario Brothers 2, I'm probably not going to get that one, as I'm kind of over Mario at the moment. But, um, I mean, Luigi I'm going to give some love to, which is just uh, the Mario games I'm kind of spent on. Uh, Donkey Kong Returns, again, I'm kind of... Um, yeah, <laughs> just not into that right now. So, all right, it came complete, obviously. So I'm not really going to show you the case. I'm just sort of looking down to it at the case, and as I'm talking, because I'm excited as fuck and I want to play the goddamn game. So, all right, I'm going to do my shit on this, play it, and have fun and enjoy this game that I've humbly got. So, thank you all for watching. Uh, I'm going to be doing more gameplay videos and general videos as the days come along. I'm also playing uh, Neverwinter Nights a uh, Neverwinter, excuse me, um, at the moment, so a lot of my time is getting crunched towards that, so that's why you're probably not seeing me you know, doing active gameplay videos on YouTube as often because I'm working on that for a review for my website, and it's like I'm taking it seriously because I really like the game and want to promote it, so it's going to be free to play when it launches, yada yada yada, it's an action RPG, so it's, I'd say it'd be a lot more welcoming for folks. And yes, it follows the D&D 4th Rule Edition stuffy thingies and all that. I'm not heavy on d and I'm not an expert on it, but, you know, I recognize a lot of couple things, or a plentiful of things and enough that I need to know, kind of basis, I suppose. You don't see me rolling 220s anytime soon, but, you know, again, I tip my hat to the concepts because it's the founding staple of RPG goodness. Again, I am rambling, so that means this video needs to end, or otherwise I'll go talking about pancakes and butterflies or something. But, yeah, got this, got this, got this to shove up my ass, and uh, that's generally, well, I guess I can shove this up my ass too, but that'd be kind of pointy and hurtful. At least that one's more smooth and has a chance to fit up my rectum. But, alright, that's enough. I'm showing kid items here, and I'm freaking talking and sexual and all that, and that does not help my case. So, alright, take it easy, take you guys so much for watching, and touch my nails.